I've said it before and I will say it again, you just never know where oddities and curiosities may surface. It's not only jungles and forests and swamps where these peculiar things can take place, they can even turn up in more formal places. They didn't get any days off, they work seven days a week, 12 hours a day. Those that you thought were the safest of the safe, even military bases. Yes, really, these are 20 oddest things found on US military bases. Number 20. UFO Over Base in Iraq Now I have such a treat for all of you today, and before we've even got going, we at the Fancy Banana are bringing you aliens. Don't say I never gave you anything, you lucky, lucky people. So, back in 2018, a weird thing was caught on video in the sky over a military base in Iraq. Now, it's only recently been released, but why might that be, I ask you? The footage was allegedly captured by U.S. forces within the boundaries of a United States Joint Operations Base. It has been officially called a UAP. This is short for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon. But I don't know why they can't just identify it for what it is. I mean, it is clearly a flying jellyfish. Or of course, it could be bird poo on the window that looks different as it passes in front of the various colors and shapes on the ground below. Just saying, you know, we should cover all the possibilities. There has naturally been a huge amount of speculation about the nature of this particular UAP. It is unlike most of the flying saucer types of UFO with which we are familiar. Now, does that make it any more likely to be the real thing? What do you think? Is this another silly old hoax? Or perhaps a smudge on the window? A floating plastic bag? Or could it possibly be aliens? Let's get stuck in a discussion about it in the comments down below, shall we? Now it's time for the sweet topic. A group of teenagers in America were messing around with a drone that one of them had gotten for Christmas. And getting a little carried away, they flew it over an out-of-bounds area, the location of a top-secret U.S. military base. Thankfully, it was not spotted, and when they reviewed the footage, they saw this, which is odd. The staff seemed to be surrounding some kind of large and odd object, and nobody has any idea what the thing is, but if anything, it looks like it might be some kind of UFO. What do you think, though? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Possible UFO Sighting Next up, we have another UFO. This is footage of an alleged UFO as it flies around over a United States Marine base in California in 2021. It's been explained away by official government explanations as a training exercise, but why is this sort of statement always so hard to believe? Most often, weather balloons, drones, airborne trash, and birds actually account for the majority of UFO sightings. Many things are easily misinterpreted as alien spacecraft, mostly because this is a much more fun explanation than some kind of boring old weather balloon. But what do you think? Has all of the latest declassifying of records actually made you believe? Or are you still a skeptic? Let's have a chat about it all in the comments section down below. Number 18. Family Found Dead on Army Base Next, I have a truly horrible story for you, and I am sorry in advance. In November of 2023, an entire family would be found dead inside of their home on the Fort Stewart Army Base in Georgia. The family was one female soldier, Staff Sergeant Maziah T. Cooper, her husband, Desmond Cooper, and their two children ages 9 and 4. Now, initially the usual secrecy and military procedural reasons were given for there being no further information, but it did come out after a few days that the family had apparently died in a domestic incident. This was a suitably vague response, which also seems to remove any kind of responsibility from the Army. Since then, there has been a statement which has said that the Army investigators have not disclosed any additional information because they need to protect the integrity of the investigation. The county coroner also refused to add any details. And this is mysterious, but whether the additional information would actually prove to be useful, if it would indicate that there was anyone at fault, or whether it would just be providing details to rubbernecking people for whom this is none of their business, well, none of that is entirely clear. Number 17. Abandoned Base in Afghanistan 
When the United States military withdrew from Afghanistan, it was all rather sudden. In fact, when they left the Bagram Air Base in 2021, they literally escaped in the dead of the night, leaving everything behind. The scene was pretty eerie, really, kind of like a zombie apocalypse. There were thousands upon thousands of bottles of water, as well as energy drinks and ready-to-eat meals, known as MREs. And they also left some of their personal items. Even a guitar would be found in the aftermath of the departure. Hundreds of vehicles were left in the parking lot. They were civilian vehicles, as well as armored military ones. And in addition to all of this stuff, they also left some pretty dangerous junk just laying around. An entire huge pile of ammunition, as well as some weaponry. They did mercifully destroy or remove most of the heavy weapons, but even so, you should probably keep a better watch on that sort of junk and not really leave it laying all about all over the place. Naturally, the Pentagon denied leaving any weaponry, but the images that emerged seemed to tell a slightly different story. As the troops left, they told nobody of the precise plan for their withdrawal for concern of security risks, and they turned off the power and simply walked away. Then the looters arrived, and they had a field day. In total, it's believed that the U.S. military left behind three and a half million items. Number 16. Ancient Human Remains in Guam it's never exactly an ideal situation to find human remains, well, anywhere, but even when they happen to be ancient, it is a bit of a bummer. This is the story of how a bunch of ancient dead people and all of their stuff suddenly turned up on a brand new United States military base in Guam, and everyone was super annoyed about it. Back in 2021, a new United States military base was being constructed in Guam when almost a dozen burial sites were unearthed in the process of building the installation. Camp Blake was being built in the northern part of the island of Guam in the village of Dedado when the discovery would be made. The base was already partially in use and the intended relocation space for 5,000 U.S. troops from Okinawa to Guam. The discovery of the old dead people has really chucked a spanner in the works and held up the proceedings as there's been an investigation and all sorts of inquiries as well as various things put into place to ensure the preservation of the ancient remains. That is likely to gum up the proceedings in Guam for the foreseeable and the United States military really doesn't like being told that they can't build all their stuff wherever they want to. The local community is a lot less than impressed that the military has been digging up their ancestors and the whole thing has caused a fairly major rift amongst the protagonists. It seems as though the U.S. military is simply heading into battle with the Guam State Historic Preservation Office, and oh, what a fun one it is. Number 15. Labor Trafficking on Military Bases Do you expect that laws and such, like, would be followed on a military base? Or do you have fewer idealistic notions blurring your vision when it comes to the conduct of military personnel? How surprised would you be to hear that foreign workers for defense contractors at several U.S. military bases in the Persian Gulf were trafficked and therefore trapped in their jobs and unable to return home? It does sound pretty terrible, doesn't it? We didn't get any days off. They worked seven days a week, 12 hours a day. But apparently, this is exactly what an investigation into illegal employment practices has discovered. It seems that many of the workers at these bases had their passports confiscated and were also denied release papers that were required under local laws. They were also forced to pay exorbitant and illegal recruitment fees and had been stuck because of these abusive employment practices. Now the U.S. military is not solely responsible for the problem, but it's actually an issue of the contractors who work on the basis. However, it is still happening on their watch, so to speak. And frankly, as this sort of thing violates U.S. regulations, it should be immediately cracked down on. But it seems that this is not an isolated thing and has been pretty commonplace for several years across several different bases. Perhaps it's time to do a little house maintenance. Who could possibly say? Number 14. Suspected Spies on Alaskan Base Now, call me old-fashioned, but it seems like it should be Military Base 101 procedure to make sure that you don't have a whole bunch of spies from a hostile foreign nation just wondering all about on your secure facility. But apparently I'm wrong. This is the improbable sounding story of a busload of Chinese citizens who were allegedly posing as tourists, but were believed to have actually been spies. Simply driving onto the US military base at Fort Wainwright in Alaska. The bus just 
drove past the security checkpoint and kept on going. And then when it was finally stopped, the people claimed to have been tourists who had just lost their way. But you know, all of those big fences and massive gates and warning signs about trespassing, along with all the military personnel, those were clearly not that obvious. Their story pretty much fell apart when they were apprehended and their vehicle was searched, revealing a drone. They say that it was just for use in viewing the northern lights. Huh, <laughs> likely story. Number 13. South Korea Raids U.S. Military Bases Back in 2023, the South Korean authorities raided two U.S. Army bases in order to investigate alleged smuggling and the use of synthetic marijuana. The raid followed a tip-off from the U.S. Army's enforcement branch and resulted in a massive investigation by the South Korean police. The case involved several U.S. soldiers as well as other nationalities. The whole case rests on the accusation that the U.S. military post has been used to smuggle synthetic marijuana into the base and then on further into South Korea. It's believed that there are five soldiers that are involved in the illegal distribution of the stuff. Twelve of them were initially accused of using the drugs, and another three were sort of middlemen in the entire proceedings. The synthetic form of the drug is designed for vaping. It is based on the THC that is found naturally in the plant, but is considerably stronger and considered more dangerous because it can cause psychotic episodes as well as paranoia and agitation in users. Those involved, if found guilty, could face up to life in prison for trafficking. Number 12. Troops Killed in Drone Attack In January of 2024, a drone attack killed three U.S. soldiers and wounded many more when it hit a United States military base in the Jordanian desert. But what was so weird about it was that the drone had managed to get into the airspace above the base without being shot down. In fact, there were no attempts at all to shoot it down. It seems, according to the investigations that have been made public, that the United States forces mistook the low-flying drone for one of their own, and that's why no challenge was made and the drone was able to make its way inside the base and attack the troops. A U.S. drone was actually out and about and flying around at that same time and was apparently returning to the installation when the other drone appeared. The main impact would hit a trailer where troops were sleeping, three of them died, and 40 more would be wounded by the blast and flying debris. The incident has been blamed, simply, upon human error. Number 10. The Fort Hood Murders In March of 2023, tragic and sad news would emerge from the Fort Hood Army Base in Texas that a soldier had been found dead. Combat engineer Private Ana Ruiz from Long Beach, California, had been assigned to the 1st Cavalry Division and stationed at Fort Hood. The story was especially shocking because this was the same place that another young woman, Vanessa Gullion, had died only a couple of years previous. She had been murdered by another soldier and had gone missing. The investigation had uncovered a horrific crime. There were cover-ups and conspiracies, and the entire thing was truly shocking and shameful. The death of Private Ruiz had shaken up many memories of that event, and investigations into her death would conclude that the young woman had been struggling for some time at Fort Hood and that she had actually taken her own life. Number 9. Toxic Chemicals in Groundwater Well, what do you know? The United States military has leaked toxic chemicals into the environment. Who would have ever thunk it? Here, we are in the Great Lakes region of the United States with a U.S. Department of Defense report that shows that there are masses of so-called forever chemicals polluting the groundwater around at least six different military sites. These are chemicals known by their abbreviation of PFAs, and they've been seeping into the water supply for years. The trouble is that this stuff is super toxic to wildlife and to people, and it poses a major health concern if people eat any kind of fish that have been contaminated by the PFAs. According to the Pentagon documents, there are at least 385 military installations all throughout the United States that are polluted with these PFAs, and it's believed that the main source of the contaminant comes from the firefighting foam that is used in training exercises. Number 8. Fossil Hunting at Fort Hood this is the super strange discovery that a bunch of frozen soil that was gathered back in the Cold War in Greenland contains some prehistoric secrets 
The U.S. Army dug out an ice core in 1966 as part of Project Ice Worm at a base in Greenland, and this core turned up in 2019 at the Fort Hood Military Base in Texas, where it has been investigated by scientists. Inside the core, they found a lot of fossilized plants that are believed to be about a million years old, which has changed the perspective on how old the ice might be that covers Greenland. Previous estimates had 3 million years, but this may change that. Don't go rewriting the history books just yet, though, because this thing has been hanging around for about 60 years. Number 7. Dangerous Materials As if running covert and extremely nasty biological weapons programs wasn't bad enough, surely the idea that this stuff has been massively mishandled and the installation accused of huge safety violations, well, <laughs> that's decidedly unreassuring. Yes, this is yet another triumph for the United States military. This is Fort Detrick in Frederick, Maryland. It was home to the United States Biological Weapons Program from about 1943 up until 1969. That program would be officially discontinued, but ever since then, many other elements of the U.S. biological defense have been operated out of this base. The site contained a community of researchers, along with officials, who were conducting biomedical research and development, as well as the study of foreign pathogens, which included Ebola and smallpox. Seems kinda horrible, really. I imagine that they would be very careful indeed if they were dealing with such deadly stuff, but apparently not. In 2019, the deadly germ research operations were actually closed down on the account of serious safety violations. Most notably, they were accused of not properly disposing of dangerous materials. But the question does remain, how did they dispose of that deadly stuff? Were they flushing it down the toilet or what? What do you think they were doing? Let me know in the comments below. Wrong answers only, please. Number 6. The Roswell Incident Next up, we have one of the more famous, or infamous, and classic UFO alien extraterrestrial incidents in all of conspiracy theory history. The Roswell incident refers to a bunch of things that allegedly happened and have been mythologized following the crash of a U.S. Army Air Force's Ballon in 1947 near Roswell, New Mexico. This would be part of a then-top-secret Project Mogul, which was to provide remote detection of nuclear tests by the Soviet Union. A bunch of debris was retrieved, and an announcement was made by the U.S. Army that they had a flying disc in their possession. Apparently, this was an effort to hide the real purpose of the balloon, since the program was actually top secret. The statement was then withdrawn the next day, but the thing was well and truly stuck. They then said that it was just a regular old weather balloon, but by then it was simply too late to go and retract such tantalizing proof of aliens, and the conspiracy theories began to grow. This then only expanded when, in 1978, a retired Air Force officer claimed that the cover story was simply a cover story for another story. And of course, it was aliens. And they said that all the debris was in fact extraterrestrial in origin, and the story simply grew and grew and grew. A book in 1980 only added fuel to the conspiracy flames, and little gray men, crashed flying saucers, alien autopsies, and even more have been added to the mythology of the Roswell incident. The information that was eventually released in the Freedom of Information request showed the archives that stated that there were no, and there had never been, any remains of extraterrestrial visitors stored at the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. This information also included the statement that the so-called Roswell incident in 1947 had not involved any location of or make any further developments to the story that there had been any sort of UFO incident that had been covered up. Which is a real bummer as far as the aliens go. I mean, really. I'm disappointed, aren't you? Although, when do we ever really believe any official documents that are released to the public? But let me ask you this. What should we believe? Could it possibly be aliens after all? Number 5. Aliens Area 51 is a secret United States Air Force military installation in the middle of the desert at Lake Groom in the south of Nevada. 
Over the decades, Area 51 has been at the center of a lot of conspiracy theories about aliens and UFOs and all of that fun stuff. And despite all the stories about the place, the only thing that's ever been officially confirmed is that this base is used as a flight testing facility. Since the 1950s, there has been so much speculation about the site. Umpteen UFO sightings have occurred in the vicinity, and it is now a kind of mecca for alien hunters. It was during the 1980s that the biggest conspiracy theory really gained its traction when a man who alleged to have worked at Area 51 claimed that the government had used the site for examining alien spacecrafts that they had recovered. The military installation itself is, naturally, not exactly a welcoming place, despite the amount of unsolicited attention that it receives. The base is marked out by posts, watched by a zillion security cameras, and covered by motion detectors. It is also patrolled by guards who dress in camouflage. They are known as the Camo Dudes by their devotees, and the guards refuse to answer any kind of questions about the base or indeed their employers, likely a shadowy contractor known as ACOM. Trespassers are warned that deadly force will be used against them. Number 4. UFO Sightings Are aliens obsessed with boring old military bases? Do they really want to know military secrets? Or is there possibly another explanation for the connection between UFOs and army bases in the United States? Maybe, just maybe, there are things flying around above military bases. I mean, who could possibly say? This is yet another story of UFO sightings at a military base, where this time it is in Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana all the way back in 1967. This one has been doing the rounds recently, when eyewitnesses to the UFOs brief the U.S. Congress. The story goes that when he was a young Air Force lieutenant, Robert Salas saw what he described as an oval-shaped form that pulsated and glowed with orange-red lights above the military base. The ICBMs that he was guarding seemed to suddenly become disabled, and it seemed as if the whole thing in the night sky might be controlling them. He said the object was silent and moved in a weird way, and he was terrified. He then got on the phone to report what was taking place, believing that the site was under attack. But then the weird glowing thing just suddenly left. He ended up having a meeting with his superiors who were not aware of any Air Force exercise and was told that the incident was classified and he signed a non-disclosure agreement. Well, that settles it, surely. Is this proof? What do you think? Number 3. Project Ice Worm here we are again with another nutty scheme from the Cold War era, where this time the United States was up to some funny business in Greenland of all places. In the 1960s, the United States made an agreement with the Danish government. Greenland was part of Denmark, whereby the U.S. would build a massive military facility in the northern part of that Arctic state. Oh, and it would be underground. You know, like a James Bond villain secret lair. It seems perfectly reasonable. Nothing to see here. The real purpose, it seems, was to actually build a series of tunnels through which they would be able to store, transport, and even launch an array of specially designed nuclear ballistic missiles. This place, with its proximity to the USSR, was supposed to make it impossible for the Soviets to defend against the United States in the event of a nuclear conflict. Project Ice Worm went ahead, and for a few short years, the U.S. dug into the Greenland ice and began their task. Unfortunately, the whole thing began to go a bit sideways when the ice sheet in which they were building went, well, a bit sideways. The structure was simply too unstable to support this sort of thing, and by 1965 the entire facility would be abandoned. They did, however, leave a whole bunch of stuff behind that's going to start leaking into the water as climate change melts more and more of the ice. That stuff includes loads of diesel fuel and some choice nuclear waste just for good measure. <laughs> what a great legacy! Number 2. Tunnel Rats of the Vietnam War during the Vietnam War, the Vietnamese fought the war from underground. They were able to navigate the entire area inside this complex of tunnels, and it's combined with their style of guerrilla warfare, which made them almost impossible to predict. The tunnels provided hiding places as well as supply routes and communications, and there were underground hospitals and weapon caches, as well as living quarters and food stores. But despite the extensive use, they were still extremely difficult places to be. The air was hard to breathe, food and water were scarce, and there were infestations of ants and snakes and scorpions and other deadly things. 
where malaria was rampant and the tunnels made many people sick. And now, tourists can go and pose for dopey pictures in these dark and haunted places. There were US soldiers who were trained to enter the tunnels and attack the Viet Cong, and to take prisoners or even just collapse them. These soldiers were known as tunnel rats, and they endured some of the worst and most dangerous conditions. There were on the regular booby traps in the tunnels, and the tunnel rats could be attacked with grenades, poisonous gas, stake traps, and venomous snakes. It's not exactly on a US military base, but we like to keep you on your toes here at the Fancy Banana, and it's at least military adjacent. Number 1. Abandoned Air Force Base when George Air Force Base was decommissioned in 1992, the military walked away and left it to crumble into the landscape. But the thing with copious amounts of concrete and military paraphernalia is that stuff is not tremendously biodegradable. So naturally, there is rather a lot of crumbling remains of this place left in the California desert. It's officially being demolished and cleaned up, but there's so much contamination in the soil and groundwater all around the area that cleaning it up is proving to be somewhat tricky. There are hundreds of abandoned houses, as well as a hospital, schools, and barracks, and it's spooky indeed, along with being a potentially toxic mess that will continue to haunt the environment long after the physical evidence is removed. Well, that's all from our somewhat risky adventure behind the barbed wire at Top Secret Places. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.